everyone, I am Clarissa, owner at girlbudgetlife.com. And today I wanted to talk to you all about my own health and fitness journey, my weight loss journey, because contrary to what you might believe, I wasn't always um, considered fit or in shape or even um, skinny. I've always been into um, working out. I was a dancer for a good part of my life. And when I stopped dancing, when I got to, to uh, college, I was into eating healthy and actually working out at home. But there was a point in my life where I was going through a lot of um, family issues, which I will go into. So in about 2010, when I graduated college, um, that summer was a really rocky one for my family. Um, my mom had been gone for almost a year in the Dominican Republic and my brothers and I had no idea why. Um, we assumed that the reason why she was gone was because um, our family was getting um, some, some things sorted out with the car that my father has sent over to the Dominican Republic um, so that we can have when we went on vacations and we usually went every summer. But we found it kind of odd that she was gone for as long as she was. And during that time, there were some rumors um, that were getting back to us that um, my mom was being seen with uh, another woman, um, that she was um, gay, etc. But um, we didn't pay any mind to that. We thought that maybe it was just people being mean and just starting rumors. Um, but then we noticed that um, my parents started fighting more often and um, um, every night actually and my brother and I um, were freaking out and um, a lot of times we had to go and actually separate our parents from the fighting and um, during one of those fights, um, and I'm going to try not to get emotional here, my mom did come out and say that she was gay. Um, Growing up, this was something that, um, just because of my mom's mannerisms, a lot of people have uh, suspected or had suspicions about. But she was my mom. I mean, she was married for my dad for 23 years. Um, it was never really something that crossed my mind. Um, but she did come out as gay in 2000, the summer of 2010. She... Um, moved out of the house, took my youngest brother with her, who was, I believe, maybe six, five or six at the time, and they were living in a basement. We had no idea where she had moved, where she had taken my brother. Um, during the same time, my grandmother um, started having symptoms of Alzheimer's. So my mom was gone, it was just me, and my dad, and my um, middle brother. Um, living at home with my grandmother. We didn't know where our mom was. Um, things were just really rocky between my parents. It was like a constant battle between the two of them. And it was just a really, really rough time. I actually didn't notice um, how badly I was taking everything. Um, I, I cried a lot during that time just because I had a hard, a difficult time understanding how someone can go their whole entire life um, living a lie. Um, I felt that my brothers and I were um, a like just a step in my mother's life. I went through a lot of emotions but I was okay with the fact that my mother was gay. That wasn't the issue. It was just that I knew that our family dynamic was going to change and I never realized how much my family held our extended family together because of the fact that my grandmother lived with us my entire life. My mother's mother lived with us our entire lives and that's where everyone congregated. That's where everyone came together and when my mother and my father were no longer together, when my mother um, could, no, could no longer come to the house um, without there being an argument um, or um, without her being able to bring her partner along with her, um, the family basically just fell apart and I really had a difficult time with that and the way that I dealt with it was by emotionally eating. Um, I was eating all of my feelings. Um, during that same time I had applied to a nursing program after college and uh, it was the only nursing program that I had applied to and I got rejected from it. I also got laid off from my job. 
um, because of all the stress in my household, I moved into my boyfriend's house um, and I was living with him and I'm getting emotional here. I was living with him and his mother um, in his bedroom. I felt very uncomfortable. Um, I was about 30 pounds uh, overweight um, through all that and um, enough was enough. I was, um, I was in a state of I wouldn't say depression because that is a very specific uh, medical condition. You know, I was able to get out of bed. Um, I was able to go about, but I was very sad. Um, and I felt like I didn't know where to go in my life. Um, everything was falling apart. And then on top of that, I looked to myself disgusting. I was uncomfortable in my body. I was having relationship issues with my boyfriend because I did not feel comfortable being intimate because of the way that I felt in my own body. Um, so I went to a nutritionist finally and I started with the Tone It Up nutrition plan. Um, I started with the Tone It Up workouts in addition to um, going to a nutritionist that told me the amount of macronutrients that I should eat. That worked for a little bit and um, I did lose initially a little bit of, a little bit of weight. But then um, things just kept getting uh, worse. Um, I did finally find a job. Um, but I was miserable at that job. Um, I would come home and all I would do is complain all day um, and eat because I was just, that was the way that I dealt with my pain. A piece of chocolate cake, a brownie, pizza, Chinese food, all of that was comfort for me. That was my safe haven during the chaos that was my life at the time. Um, it wasn't until um, I took a before picture um, I decided that I was going to start losing weight and I took a before picture and I'll uh, share that picture here. And I realized that, geez, I had really, really, really let myself go. Um, I don't know, like, I always used to like, um, not understand how people could gain weight and like not notice it. It's like, well, wouldn't you notice that you gained 30 pounds? You don't. Um, because usually it happens because that person is going through something. And they are going through something, whether it being um, a divorce or um, an issue with their family or an issue with school or an issue with their job. It's when people use food as a way to deal with things, they are in a lot of pain. And um, I didn't notice that I gained all that weight, but I had committed to doing it. So I did pay for a nutritionist this time. Um, she was online and um, I was doing Insanity at the time. So I was doing Insanity at home and working with this nutritionist online and I lost about 10 pounds. Um, I continued on using Chalene Extreme and um, lost another five pounds and then where things really clicked for me where I was able to now get down to the weight that I wanted to and stick with it was when I started weight training um, at home doing my own workouts and uh, using T25 which is a beach body program um, I was able to get down to uh, about uh, 130 pounds which to me I think I look amazing um, and right now I'm just working on trying to uh, get ready for um, a bikini competition that I actually want to do um, it's the beach body classic um, which will go on in 2015 so um, I'm giving myself a whole year to prep for it because I want this to be a lifestyle goal but um, I honestly can say that I attribute my happiness, I attribute my my comfort in my body, my able to um, my ability to able to sustain this lifestyle to lifestyle to finding something that worked for me, and that was working out at home at my time, and learning to have a balanced mindset when it comes to food, and that to me is eating what they call clean foods or whole natural foods, foods that are foods that are dense in nutrients 90% of the time and having a little bit of wiggle room 10% of the time. But I just wanted to share with you all that I wasn't always skinny. I wasn't always um, uh, a normal weight. I did go through a period when I was very sad and I did gain 30 pounds. 
and what helped me was finding something that worked for me finding something that um, I could stick with lifelong and um, I couldn't be happier it's one of the reasons why I decided to become a beach body coach because at home workouts and um, drinking Shakeology was what was what really helped me and Um, hosting these monthly challenge groups that I've been hosting helps hold me accountable. Um, just seeing everyone push as hard as they're pushing makes me want to just keep going for my dreams. Um, I have so many girls in there that are, were, are a lot heavier than I was when I first started my journey. Um, and just seeing them lose, you know, anywhere from 5 to 10 pounds in 21 days. Seeing them just make comments about how good they feel in their body. I can relate to that because I remember the, when I lost those first 10 pounds doing Insanity and working with um, my nutritionist, I felt like on top of the moon like I just felt so gorgeous I felt like I was unstoppable it was like a great boost of confidence um, but that is all that I wanted to share with you all um, that's my weight loss story that's um, how I ended up going from 35 pounds to the point that I am now and I'm still working on my body it's going to be something that I'm gonna work on lifelong because this definitely is a lifestyle for me but I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and also before I go I did want to mention that I am hosting another 21 day fix challenge group that's starting June 30th um, so if you are interested in um, joining that group make sure that you follow me on Facebook it's my personal Facebook account the link is below and that you send me a private message and I will get you all the information um, that you need to get into that group because the spots are filling up fast and I'm actually getting ready um, getting everything ready to start on Monday Monday. So if you're interested, make sure that you follow me on Facebook as soon as possible and that you send me a private message. I will see you all next week. Bye.